All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Action Group's re-extended mod, which was originally made back in the day by form user Diazo, and is now being maintained by, of course, none other than Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a greatly extended ability to control your Action Groups through both in light as well as of course in the VAB and also gives you a whole lot more of them to play with. In fact, with this mod installed, you'll now have 250 action groups and that is a whole lot of possibilities for your ship to, you know, do things with. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at how all this works. So let's grab ourselves a just random stock ship here and how we actually get access to the mod is pretty simple. We have this new little button here labeled AGX of course for action group extended which we simply click and we now have access to all of the glory now it may look a little bit daunting having multiple new bits of ui here but all this is actually fairly simple so let's uh, start with this one window here and what we're seeing is all of the action groups you will now have available. We have a five pages right here, which we can navigate between each page with 50 action groups for you to use, thus giving you that 250 number. And you also notice that the button right now is red. That red color shows you what page you are on. But once we get to editing some things here in a minute, you'll also notice that some of these turned green. And when a button is green, that shows you that there are action groups on that page for you to use. So, you know, for instance, if you're wanting to organize your action groups into different pages for just your own sake, you could have most of your things here on page one, but have a couple in three, and three would be green, showing you that they are there. Just to, you know, make it a little bit easier for you to see where everything is. Now, we also do have access to the standard sort of action groups by hitting this other button, which if we do, we now have have access to all the standard, you know, abort, breaks, SAS, staging, etc., which is quite cool. But to head back to the five pages, you just simply hit the other button again and it goes back. And what we have in this particular bit of UI is the information on any parts currently selected. So for instance, if I click on the command pod here, it shows us the command pod all of the actions available, and then various things we can edit here, which we'll get to in a bit more in depth in a moment. And then finally, we have this box, which is the action currently assigned to the action group. So we're on page one and action group one, and you'll also see that that action group one is right here as well. So what we can do if say we want to uh, toggle the crew report, we just simply click that and that action goes down here and we have now created an action in this action group. Now what's fun is we can actually name this particular action group so that it shows us even more info. So rather than just being action group one, we can type crew report and that will save it as crew report over here as you can see and also displaying it right here. Now we have another couple options and interesting things which is pretty cool. The visibility state is another option which is very handy for certain parts kind of useless for others. Now most parts by default this is going to be off and basically that means you just click it and it happens. If you change the visibility to on when you are out in flight mode 
your action group is actually going to be colored depending on if it's active or not. If it's on, it'll be green. If it's off, it'll be red. If it has some form of mixed usage, it will be yellow. And this is actually quite handy for, say, things like fins or wheels, where you might, for instance, want to change it between inverted or normal controls. You'll know which one it's currently on by the color. So if inverted is on and that's the action you set it to, it would be green after it's been activated. So it's quite useful for those situations, but for say something like a crew report, eh, it's not so important. Now right next to it we have tap or hold. Now this is quite cool. Now by default hold is typically really only usually applied to brakes. You hold down the brake button and it breaks. But if you want, you can add that hold ability to other things. Say for instance, an engine. As long as you hold down the right action group key, that engine will fire. Take your hand off that key, it'll stop firing. So that could be an interesting use for the hold. And then of course we have the ability to clear the list here and you know go about our way doing other things. But let's actually keep it here for a moment to show a bit uh, a few more things here that we have. You'll notice that like normal, our part here, the command pod, is highlighted as it always does, but we also have some X's here. Now let's actually turn that off so we don't we no longer are doing the crew report. So right now we have an X on the command pod because that's the part we have selected. Now, if we have multiple parts selected, we can actually hover over the name of them here in the part selector, and now you can see that X becomes red, so we know exactly which part we are on. So say, for instance, with like the mystery goo containers, we selected both, and we hovered over which one was which. Now, we can also get another marker here, say if we do the crew report again, you'll now see we have a cross, a plus symbol in there, showing that that part now is assigned to an action group, and that is pretty cool. And that is basically how this works. That's the, the simple bit of it, but you can really get pretty complicated with this thing, which is great. For instance, let's actually head down to action group two, and let's click these goo containers. Now, here's the thing, though. I don't want both crew uh, or both goo containers, but of course, by default, we have selected both of them, and you can see both of them in the parts selector here. So right now, as like with the default, if we do any action group, like say for this or solar panels that you have radially around your ship, it'll do it for all of them. As you can see, we have two observed mystery goo containers here. And just like up in the parts selector, I can see which one is which. But what if I only want one of them? Now, of course, we could look at the X and uh, delete which one we don't want, which is pretty simple. You just have to right click on that action and it gets rid of the thing. But alternatively, if we only want to select one of them right off the bat, we can turn off symmetry. Right now, by default, symmetry is on, but if we turn it off, go click on another part and then click on this one, we have now only selected one of the two mystery goo containers. And so we can change things on just one of multiple symmetrical parts, which is awesome. I actually really like that ability. Well, let's turn it back into symmetry on and uh, actually clear that off. And uh, actually, no, let's... Yeah, uh, yeah, I also forgot to mention you can also right click to turn off the one in here. So if we want to turn on that mystery goo with that one, and that's uh, hmm, goo one, and then on three we want to instead have this one over here. Of course I left symmetry on, and okay, you know what, let's turn symmetry off there. Click, cl oh, off and then click, it needs to reset itself. And then have a three being goo 2, turn symmetry back on, click off, click on. Now I'm clicking off and then on because if you click again on the object it doesn't seem to reset itself. Uh, so you have to either clear the list here 
or click on another part, which I just find to be the easiest. And then for four, we'll reset the goo canisters with both of them there. And that'll be reset goo. There we are, and we've set up four different action groups. Now, another thing to point out, because these are the first four action groups, they will still work like the normal action groups we set in here. So one through 10 will be automatically keys one through 10. So you can still activate the first 10 of them like you would normally. So let's actually go out to the world and take a look at a few other things, including this uh, show key here. I didn't uh, show off this because it's a lot easier to explain it out in the world. So let's go to launch. And of course, we've got a couple of things already, those four action groups. And as you can see here, <laughs> uh, I, that one is colored red because it's currently off. Remember, I left on that visibility and the crew report is off. And while these ones here, I left the visibility to none, so they are just simply gray text. Now, in this little action group menu, we can now click a thing. Notice it's now active, so that has turned green, and it will happen. We can, of course, also use the keys as per normal, as long as it, of course, again, it is groups one through 10. Now, fun thing though, we can edit these things in flight. Now, first thing I should actually show you uh, at the beginning here is we have the AGX button here again. And if you left click, it will turn on or off that action group list. If we right click, we get a settings menu. And this, oh, this is great. So the first option we have here is this, of course, is the keys you press. So alpha one, alpha two, alpha three, corresponding with one, two, three, etc. If you don't care to have that, you can turn that off. I personally leave it on because I think it's useful info, but you can turn that on or off. We also have the ability to edit the action groups now, so we aren't stuck with just doing the action groups in the VAB. So if we hit edit, we now have access to all of those same bits of UI that we had in the vehicle assembly building, and we can edit them just the same, which is very, very handy to have. And we can also, if we have really jumbled up all of these things, we can reset the windows back to a default. Now, we also have a button here for auto hide groups. I'll be honest, I've clicked this and I haven't noticed anything happening. There may be a thing, and if someone knows, please put it in the comments. I have not figured out what that thing is though. It, it just doesn't seem to do anything when I do it. And finally, we have these two remote tech keys. As this mod has actual integration with other mods, and in fact, the Auto Actions mod, the Smart Parts mod, KOS, and Remote Tech all realize that this mod exists and will have access to all 250 of the new action groups. And if you have Remote Tech on, you can show the Remote Tech connections or bypass them. So if you do need to do that, you can, which is very handy. Now on to our uh, little show bit here, which I said I'd show you what it is now. This is interesting because of course, remember we have all of these pages of mods to play with and well, it can get kind of confusing because all of your action groups are really gonna show here. So what if you want to separate them out into different groupings? And so basically different pages. And so what you can do with that is say, we don't want that crew report to be on this first page with the goo reports. We want to separate the crew report out. We can take it off of number one, which is what we're currently at. And we can have it say taken off of three, four, and five. So now if I go to key sets here, or nope, sorry, I uh, missed that. It's not key sets, it's the groups. We go to two. Well, there we go. We have the crew report back. Now, if I go back to these goo containers, I can turn them off of all the other ones, except for, or wait, no, I actually meant to turn them off of two. There we go. So we actually have them separated. There we are. 
And there we are, excellent. So group two is now just our crew report. Group one is just our goo container. And you can, you know, play around with this. We only have access to five different groups, but it does give you some extra control over what you're doing, which is very handy. Instead of having everything on every page, you actually can, you know, mess around with it a bit more, which is very cool. I do like that option. And, uh, yeah, that is really all I have to show you. I mean, again, uh, we can create our action groups. We have the ability to set them off here. And, of course, also use their key, such as three I just hit to activate that one. And, of course, you know, you can edit them here or in the VAB. All in all, a very very useful mod that gives you a lot more ability to do a lot more things with your ship, which is just fun. So if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would definitely suggest you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!